My name is David Frewell. I'm Head of Volunteering Services with Hulvar Health Board and I manage the Volunteering for Health Volunteer Project. And this is just an overview of the work we've carried out and the way we're progressing forward. In 2007, requests were received from two members of the public wanting to volunteer in Withybush Hospital over the Christmas period. At that time, their request wasn't able to be met in that particular location. However, this inspired the patient experience manager to look at developing a bid for a volunteer scheme to address such future requests and enhance patient experience. As a consequence, two funding applications were developed and submitted. The first application was to the Welsh Assembly Government's Making the Connections Fund, but this failed due to the project not crossing organisational silos. And the second was to the Foundation of Nursing Studies, but failed due to it not being related to nursing. In September 2008, a multi-agency working group, including third sector organisations, was formed to develop, prepare and submit a funding bid to the Big Lottery People's Fund. In February 2009, the Big Lottery announced the bid was successful and the project started in earnest on the 18th of October 2009, with the official launch being held in July 2010. Over £380,000 was awarded over a three-year period to set up, develop and deliver Volunteer for Health, an imaginative service for volunteers to add value and enhance patient experience of healthcare. Initially, robust policy, procedures and guidelines based on good practice were put in place to lay the foundation for the safe involvement of volunteers in healthcare settings within Hulthar Health Board. Working with wards, departments and in some instances the third sector organisations, opportunities were developed. There are now over 70 opportunities available in district general and community hospitals spanning over the counties of Ceredigion, Carmarthenshire and Pembrokeshire. These include pharmacy support volunteers, ward befriending volunteers, meet and greeting volunteers in reception areas, children's play support volunteers on the children's wards, dietetic support volunteers, survey support volunteers, accident and emergency support volunteers and various other roles in district general hospitals. In the community hospitals, volunteers are primarily engaged as ward befrienders and as gardeners. In the community we have volunteers supporting school nurses, the Stroke Support Club in Carmarthen and volunteers with a learning disability for supporting the county speech and language therapy services within the learning disability teams. Volunteering for Health is now in year three of its lifespan, with six months lottery funding remaining. There are currently 200 active volunteers, providing their time and commitment to enhance patient experience, and 120 going through the recruitment process. Our target is to reach a capacity of 400 core volunteers by October of this year, 100 in Pembrokeshire, 100 in Ceredigion, and 200 in Carmarthenshire. Preparing and supporting volunteers. To prepare and support the volunteers for placement, we provide a robust recruitment and check-in process, accredited corporate and volunteer induction training, and ongoing monitoring, support and supervision. When necessary, volunteers undertake other training identified to support them to carry out their role. For example, volunteers supporting the meeting and greeting service in Withybush Hospital in Half the West and Glenwilly Hospital in Carmarthenshire, were involved in a day's awareness training held in conjunction with the Women's Royal Voluntary Service. This involved speakers from David Paris Police, People's First, the Travel Champion Initiative, Hulda Health Board Hotel Services and Volunteering for Health, speaking to the volunteers and providing them with relevant information for them to carry out their role. Volunteers involved on the Stroke Rehabilitation Wards and the Carmarthen Stroke Support Group were able to attend the day's awareness training held by the Stroke Association. Infant feeding support volunteers on our maternity wards are able to access the Open College Network accredited breastfeeding peer support program. In order to support people with a learning disability to volunteer, our recruitment information and volunteer induction program has been customised as an easy read version using symbols. Where volunteers are making a difference, 
Ward befrienders provide an opportunity for patients to chat or to simply sit with them quietly if they're feeling anxious. They help patients to read letters, books, do crossword puzzles, support arts and crafts sessions and engage in activities such as board and card games. During mealtimes, volunteers prepare the patient bed space and encourage them to eat. For the staff, the volunteers are an extra pair of eyes and ears, often convey, conveying information patients would not want to concern nursing staff with. Meet and greet volunteers are currently active in Glanguilly Hospital in Carmarthen and Withybush Hospital in Haverford West during the evenings and at weekend visiting times. Once the front of house redevelopment in Bronglice Hospital, Aberystwyth, has been completed, a meet and greet service in conjunction with the Women's Royal Voluntary Service will also be available there. This service supports visitors and family members coming to the hospital by locating the patient ward or department and directing or taking the visitor to their destination. The Pharmacy Support Service operates in three of the District General Hospitals. Here the volunteers take medications to the wards, enabling staff to stay on wards and improving the delivery time to wards. Links have been developed with local colleges and universities in the three counties. In Keredigion, students from Aberystwyth University and College Keredigion are offered a variety of vocational volunteering places in various areas, including cardiac rehab, physiotherapy and maternity. Students studying health and social care with College Keredigion can volunteer in a variety of settings within Bronchlice Hospital and are encouraged to move area to provide them with a comprehensive experience. This type of experience plays an important part to support students when applying for university. We also support the recruitment of volunteers and other projects managed by the Health Board and provide advice regarding volunteering to Sandy Bear Bereavement and Loss Service in Pembrokeshire, Sure Start in Carmarthenshire, the Expert Patient Programme across the Health Board and the Tender Loving Care Project in Pembrokeshire. What effect are the volunteers having on patients? Patients are benefiting from an enhanced experience of healthcare from volunteer involvement. During the lifetime of the project, over 16,000 con patient contact hours have been achieved by our volunteers. The positive impact of this can be demonstrated from our patient surveys, undertaken in July 2011 and March of this year. Patients were asked if volunteers had been part of the care provided by the hospital and if this had improved their experience of hospitals. Results indicated that there was a positive benefit from the roles of the volunteers. 80% of the patients surveyed in July 2011 felt that their experience of healthcare had been enhanced from the involvement of volunteers. This increased to 100% in March of this year and further indicated that patients surveyed felt that their experience of healthcare had been enhanced by the involvement of volunteers. What effect is the experience of volunteering having on the volunteers themselves. Through volunteering for health, apart from providing an added value service, volunteers are benefiting from the valuable experience gained within a healthcare setting. For those volunteers already in employment, increased skills and knowledge and an insight into the work of a health board can help with a view to changing career. For those unemployed, volunteering can provide vital work experience and support them in gaining confidence to help them back into the labour market. For volunteers looking to go into education, volunteering provides experience to support applications to healthcare related courses within colleges and universities. For many volunteers though, it simply provides an opportunity to give something back to the health board, perhaps having been a patient or a close friend or relative of a patient. Volunteering for health has allowed a number of volunteers access to job placements, training and other progressions. 31 volunteers have gone on to employment or into university. For some, their experience with volunteering for health has been an attributing factor to this achievement. In addition, volunteering provides an opportunity for volunteers to increase their social skills, make new friends and feel part of a wider team. What effect is the experience of volunteering having on the health board itself? For the health board, the volunteer service provides added value and additional support for patients delivered through a high quality, professionally coordinated and integrated service. 
Volunteering for Health is leading on innovation in some areas of volunteering within the NHS in Wales. For example, the work undertaken with volunteers with a learning disability is a first, as is the pharmacy support service. Volunteering for Health is supporting Hilbert Health Board in meeting its 10 pledges to create a sustainable health care system for our people, which has the greatest focus on care, closer to home, prevention, well-being and improved quality of life. For example, experienced mothers from the local community can support mothers and their babies on the maternity wards, as infant feeding support volunteers providing non-clinical support to mothers, babies and staff. Volunteers are also supporting our Dignity Action Plan in response to the Older Persons Commissioner report. Ward befriending volunteers are currently providing low level support around nutritional care activities for patients and our meet and greet volunteers are aiding visitors to navigate the hospital environment. To further enhance and further improve the service provided for Hoover Health Board, Volunteering for Health is currently progressing through the Investing in Volunteers Quality Standard for Volunteer Management. Following Health Board approval to continue the volunteering service, the next stage of Volunteering for Health is encapsulated in the three-year plan 2012 to 2015. In essence, this will mean a core service of 400 volunteers based in district, general and community hospitals across the three counties. This will mean that additional work beyond the scope of this core service can progress. For example, the increased involvement of volunteers in mental health and the opportunity to further support developing volunteers to help them back into the local workforce. Already potential external funding has been identified to support this work. Part of the co-design, the third sector role in health and social care, volunteering for health is working with the third sector in developing county volunteer planning groups to support the effective placement and involvement of volunteers in the future. Now it's your opportunity to meet the team. Lee Oldale covers Kelly Digion and has a background from the third sector. Nia Gibbon covers Pembrokeshire and Carmarthenshire with myself. Nia has a background in health herself. To support the furtherance of the project, Shortly, we'll be recruiting for an administrative post. And of course, let's not forget the volunteers, the most important part of the project and the service.